Welcome back today I am here with you explaining the brief knowledge about 1961 quarter value. In this video we will discuss about the history, feature, values and rare errors of 1961 quarter value. Let's talk about the history of 1961 quarter value. The Washington Quarter was minted from 1932 to 1998 with the original obverse and reverse design developed by the famous engraver and sculptor John Flanagan. This quarter replaced the well-known Standing Liberty Quarter, produced from 1916 to 1930. These coins began circulating in August 1932 and they were initially made of silver until 1964 when the metal composition changed to an alloy of nickel, clad, and copper. Interestingly, the U.S. Mint preferred placing liberty or other images with symbolic meaning on the coins rather than a real person. Washington and Benjamin Franklin believed that placing kings and queens were reminiscent of the colonial period when they had coins with depictions of British royalty. Features of 1961 Quarter Value The coins of verse features Washington's bust facing left, with the capitalized inscription Liberty struck alongside the upper rim. On his left, the American motto, In God We Trust, is underneath his chin. The mintage year is on the lower rim, struck in the center 1961. Compared to the reverse design, the obverse is pretty simplistic. The reverse highlights the image of the outstretched American bald eagle in the center, holding arrows in his talons. The laurel wreath underneath the arrows encircles the eagle. Above the eagle's head, the second motto, E Pluribus Unum, means out of one, many. Alongside the upper rim is the capitalized inscription United States of America. The denomination quarter dollar is placed on the lower rim. 1961 No Mint Mark Quarter Value The most attractive is 1961 No Mint Mark Quarter in M67 or M67 Plus, the highest grade for this variety. According to PCGS, they have graded only two of these, making them very valuable and collectible. In M67, 1961 No Mint Mark Quarter can cost between $240 and $2,600. The 1961 No Mint Mark Auction record for this coin in the highest grade, M67 Plus, is $9,777. The auction took place at the Heritage Auction in 2009. 1961 D Quarter Value for the 1961 D quarter in M66 Plus, you can expect to pay between $60 and $800. The most attractive pieces are those in M67 and M67 Plus, which are rare and thus expensive. The 1961 D quarter in M67 can be worth between $1,000 and $3,700. In the highest grade reported for this variety, the 1961 D quarter can reach a price between $3,000 and $24,000. The auction record for the 1961 D quarter is $24,000 at Stax Bowers in 2019. The value of these coin varieties depends on several factors. 1961 PF Proof Quarter Value the Philadelphia Mint also produced proof coins or proof quarters in 1961. The total mintage is 3,028,244. Generally, the proof coins, the early specimens of a certain coin made to test the dies and for archival purposes, are highly valuable and sought after. However, that is not the case with the 1961 quarter, although there are a few exceptions. In PR65, the 1961 quarter can cost $10 to $25. In PR67, the same quarter can cost around $22. According to the PCGS, the most recent purchase of the 1961 proof quarter in PR70 was in 2017, and the collector paid $200 for the coin. Grading 1961 quarter, 
If you are a long-standing member of the Cohen Collecting Community, you are probably familiar with the grading scale and what determines a particular grade. The grade is important because it determines the coin's value, which is most interesting to passionate numismatists. 